Today we're going to compare an outside corner joint, one using straight current, one using pulse settings. Let's do it. First up, 11 gauge cold rolled steel. I'm using 105 amps. I am full pedal for this. No pulse, just straight current. 332 electrode, 1 16th diameter ER70S6 filler wire. Only reason I use the ER70S6 instead of 2, I just happen to have more of it in 1 16th. Not much difference in the two unless you're penetrating fully all the way through on a butt joint and then there seems to be a lot more difference. But I'm using just enough heat to wrap those corners. Get a decent size weld. I could also go down to a 045 filler. I could use as large as 332. Here I want to show you the very end on the way I taper off from an end sometimes. Leave that wire in there to keep from blowing it away and then back up as I let off current. Taper it down into like a teardrop shape. This is the CK Worldwide welder here that I'm using. I've done about 20 videos so far using this thing. I'm increasing the amperage because you always need to do that when you turn the pulser on. You get sort of an average of the pulses. And so I'm at two pulses a second and I'm going to set the background amps to around 30%, which is a good starting point. You can go way higher for different applications, but 30% is a good place to start. And I'm going to step up to a 332 filler wire so that I can just lay it in that trough, in that outside corner joint, and just go right over it, easy as pie. Now the pulse setting really comes in handy here. This is a little bit more difficult to keep that wire in the puddle and keep it from balling up and whatnot without pulse. You can still do it without pulse. Pulse just makes it dead easy. Here's another perspective of it coming from behind here. You can see the puddle is just wrapping those corners. So I could use a little less heat probably, but it's working out pretty well. And the Furic number 12 cup is doing some really good shielding there. Another thing that I have found that I really like to use pulse settings on is TIG brazing with silicon bronze. Using pulse with silicon bronze kind of keeps the heat down, keeps the oxide film under control, and it just really works really well. It's good for ornamental stuff like handles and hinges on industrial furniture and other ornamental things. It, it just provides a really cool look. Not nearly as strong as weld metal, so you need to put a really big fillet or a really, really big bead to have anywhere close to the strength. But if you're just looking for the look, it's very cool. And pulse really helps.